is your favorite fearless hero. Now, sometimes in a movie, you have to cut out parts that just don't work. And it's not because they aren't funny or good. A lot of the time, they're very funny. But they don't fit into the bigger picture. The great thing is that the director keeps them and they don't delete them. They are lucky to find a new home and unique features. That is why in today's video, we'll take you through some of the deleted scenes from Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Kitty Softpaws is an extraordinary cat. She deserves a legend. And without those lines, Pero, I am no legend. We'd like to show you this scene first. This scene was meant to show how Puss and Kitty will use each other to get what they want and more importantly, how they will use the innocent dog who is holding the map to get what they want. And I think you'll find that it's a very highbrow way to do things. And that might have been the problem. This is called the peeing scene. The scene that begins with three characters screaming in fear with Puss screaming more outrageously than the rest. They all stop and stare at him and that's that's when he realized how embarrassing he looked. The dog complains how the trip has been long and that he wants to take a leak. Puss also says he feels the same and joins Pareto where he is relieving himself. He then goes on to try and convince the innocent Pareto to join him and ditch Softpaw, who coincidentally joins the two where they are. Puss leaves the scene to go and relieve himself elsewhere. That is when Softpaws tries to convince the dog to ditch Puss and go with her. This scene is funny on its own and I wonder why the directors had to cut it out. Uh, it's been a long road trip. I gotta go wee wee. Uh. I do have to go. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Next, montages should be in every movie, but one was left out. The scene was meant to explain how things work in the forest. The forest is magic, and if you don't have the map, you won't be able to get to the wishing star. Puss, Kitty, and Dog are lucky because they have the map and can just walk through the forest without getting lost. Another cool thing about this scene is that it contains a lot of early ideas that were turned into scenes in the final movie. It sort of laid out the groundwork for better sequences. The dog won't to learn from the big guys, a scene in which the characters take a romantic ride in a boat that looks like a gondola. This became its own scene in the final version of the movie. They called it a montage of love and death. This is just a montage of three groups wandering through the forest. Goldie and the bears have a hectic time going through the forest as they don't hold the map, at one time being chased by a group of fire-breathing bees. On the other hand, Big Jack Horner overcomes the challenges of the forest with his crew of pirates and his ultimately supply of trinkets. At this time, Puss, Softpaw, and the dog are enjoying the wonderland that is created by the forest as the dog is the one holding the map. At one point, they even jump through what seems like teleporting holes and Puss and Kitty end up emerging from the same hole, stuck looking at each other awkwardly. It would have made a great scene. <laughs> Moving on, this is fun because they sometimes cut out scenes when they make big changes to the story. They had to try something that earned the trust of both Kitty Softpaw and Pareto. He sneaked away with the map while they were sleeping. The rules of the map say that whoever has it must follow a certain path, and dogs is the only easy one. So now that Puss has taken it out, you can read about the things that stand in its way. It just didn't seem right that he just sneaked away and took it. You say, I'm not sure if I like that guy. In this scene, Pareto also challenges Puss and tells him that he deserves better. In the end, that turned into something really wonderful as well. So, I think the final version of these ideas is always the best version of them. Even though Puss had a terrible life, there is still something I love about this sequence. Every dot on the map showed a bad place, and the last one he had to go through was the Wall of Snakes. He doesn't even know what that means, but he finds out in the scene called the Wall of the Snakes. In this scene, Puss runs to the forest, at one time having a glimpse of death staring him through the trees. He then comes to his big walls with green vine-like attachments. He picks one and starts using it as a rope to climb the wall before the rest of the vines turn to snakes and try to bite him. He falls down and moves away from the wall before opening the gap. That is when he remembered that the map stated that he had to pass through a wall of snakes. Pareto then comes and gives him the motivating speech to abandon his idea of going after the wish alone. Puss, I'm not a legend or a hero slash outlaw or anything amazing like that, but stealing that map 
that's wrong. These are the three scenes that the director revealed to us they had to cut out. Much to our disappointment, we had to agree. Anyway, in more ways than one, Puss in Boots The Last Wish proved that it put the Shrek series back on top. The new Puss in Boots movie not only got a high score of 95% from critics on Rotten Tomatoes and a score of 94% from the audience, but it also won some awards. At both the Golden Globes and the Oscar, the movie was nominated for Best Animated Feature Film. Even though it lost the Golden Globes to Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, it is still well liked by critics. This is the fourth time a Shrek movie has been nominated for an Oscar, but only the first one has won. With nominations for both Puss in Boots movies, the movie looks like it'll keep the Shrek franchise alive and well. Thanks to the success of the new Puss in Boots movie, there is still hope for the Shrek series. From a business point of view, the success of the box office makes Shrek 5 inevitable and shows that people still want to see more movies with legacy characters. Since Puss in Boots 2 is a return to form for the franchise, it's possible that after 10 years, there will finally be a new Shrek movie. Even though the last few Shrek movies haven't done so well, focusing on what's new and different about the IP might help it last longer in the long run. Why would I listen to a porridge-stealing orphan like you? You're not even a bear! After the success of Puss in Boots The Last Wish, the co-director Joel Crawford talks about whether or not a third movie could be made. Crawford talks to the playlist about whether or not Puss in Boots 3 will happen if Puss in Boots The Last Wish does well. The director doesn't seem to know any of the plans to keep their franchise going right, but he is hopeful that Antonio Banderas' character will come back and maybe meet up with Mike Myers' Shrek. I don't know what will happen next, but it was all very hopeful because we love these characters. We believe in the story we're telling and we hope that people will be interested in it and ask for more, both with Puss and Boots and with Shrek. I think I can say, based on how people have responded, that they have said, yes, we want more, which makes me so happy. But to be honest, I hope to keep writing about all of these characters. Its ending definitely sets up Shrek 5 more than Puss in Boots 3. Banderas has even hinted at this, saying that the communication of the franchise and the return of old characters will depend on how well the most recent sequel does. Aside from what the ending means for the story itself, Puss in Boots The Last Wish also sets up Shrek 5 by showing how to make a sequel after a long time has passed. The animation in the movie was more unique and hand-drawn, and the story was about a main character who went through a strong emotional journey. The success of Puss in Boots The Last Wish at the box office makes Shrek 5 seem likely, but it's less clear if Puss will get another movie on his own. Still, now that Puss has learned to enjoy life and made some new friends, it's possible that a third standalone movie will be made in the future. No matter what happens next with Puss in the Shrek franchise as a whole, Crawford's movie seems to have made people love some of the main characters again and set the stage for more stories. That's all for today. Till next time. Ha! I am Pussy Boots. I am no one's lap cat.